the beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay, and today I'm going to be chatting about this lovely little thing. If you look it up online, it says it's a silicone breast pump. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call it a breast pump, and I'll explain why in a second, but there are a lot of different kind of versions of this. Um, essentially, they all look the same, just different brands that kind of make the exact same thing. Essentially, it's just the branding that's different. So this specific one I have here is called the Nature Bond. But I originally had one called the Hakka, I believe, and I will link them down below just so you can kind of see. I'll also put pictures here. You can see they're the exact same thing, just different brands. So this is technically considered a silicone breast pump, and the reason is you could technically pump with this. Not very successfully, I would say. Like, if, you're, if you buy this with the intention of specifically pumping your breast milk, um, I don't think it's gonna go very far with that. But I love this and why this is such a must-have product for me is because of your letdown. So for me, I was exclusively breastfeeding my daughter for two years and especially in the beginning, your letdown or my letdown specifically was insane. And what that was was when I would feed my daughter, let's say I was nursing her on this side, she's nursing here, this side would also start to leak. So normally you would have like a breast pad inside and the breast pad would just absorb all the liquid and soak it up and it would be a hot mess. Or it would drip everywhere and spray all over my daughter and me. And it was just a mess. But that is where this comes in. So essentially, I'll show you how to use it in a second, but what you do is, what, let's say my daughter's nursing on this side, like I was explaining, and on this side, this part suctions onto your breast, like so, and it literally just catches the letdown. And it's suctioned on, so you don't have to hold it. Like right now, I can't because I'm not gonna just flash you all. But if it was suctioned onto my breast, because I wouldn't be wearing a shirt, um, then it would just sit there and catch the letdown. So instead of it being absorbed into your breast pad and just throwing that out and it making a big mess, it goes in here, you can put it in the fridge or the freezer, and then you have some supply for later on. And you can also, if you would like, while it's suctioned on, you can even pump to get some out. You can do it while you're nursing, you can do it separate. So you could use this in a pinch as a pump. The reason I say I wouldn't use this exclusively only as a pump and not get any other pump is, honestly, I didn't find I would get a lot out if I was like pumping with it. Like it would get a couple ounces, but not enough to make like a freezer stash for myself and the amount of milk that I produce. Maybe if you are a major overproducer and it just like comes out easily, then I'm sure you could fill this up. And at the beginning, I could definitely have filled this up very, very quickly just by my letdown. But about a year and a half in, like this would not cut it for pumping. I didn't find it was strong enough really to get quite the pump as my manual breast pump. I also have a video about that one. I will link it down below. That is my favorite breast pump and that is the Medela manual breast pump. I do prefer manual breast pumps. And honestly, if I were you, I would get one of these. They're super cheap, like 30 bucks or less on like Amazon or you can get it at Bye Bye Baby and things like that. And I would also get just like a, a cheap manual, I say cheap, but a manual breast pump. I think it was like $60, which where I live, that's pretty cheap for a breast pump. Um, not this, but the other pump I got. Anyway, so I'm going to show you kind of how to use it, but it's not going to, it's hard to show you without taking off my shirt. So pretty much what you're going to do is fold this part back. There's probably multiple different ways to do this. This is how I found it the easiest for my specific breasts, but it might be different for you. So maybe just try this out and if it doesn't work, you can look up other ways. So you fold this part over. So what I did, all I did was fold it over and you're going to put your nipple in this part. So along with your breast, uh, let me see if I can get a little closer. So see, it's still folded. You put it, oh sorry, the lighting changed. It's still folded. You put it like this and then at that point, you fold it over. So it's gonna suction at that point onto your breast and your nipple, and your nipple's gonna be in there, and you can either suction a little bit like this to get the suction properly on, or it will just be suctioned on and the letdown will just start going. Once the suction is there, it will kind of like, not in a painful way, but it will a little bit like tug on your nipple and then that will kind of stimulate it to start the milk to come out. 
Sometimes you will suction it on and your nipple will go like whoop and go against here and it's super uncomfortable, kind of painful, and you can literally see your nipple is like crooked in here. I would then take the suction off and redo it again because first of all, it's just uncomfortable and pumping and breastfeeding shouldn't hurt. I know it can, but it really shouldn't have to hurt. So I would try just readjusting it again and seeing if it works. Um, but for me, that worked really great to just get the suction on because at first I was like, why? It's not working. What? What's going on? No, no. <laughs> you, you need to kind of like fold it back. Depending on the size of your nipple and your breast, you might need to like fold this a little bit. Um, for me, just the full opening was more than enough, but you might need to find a little bit of ways to fold it. Honestly, it's not that complicated. This one specifically comes with a stopper, which is awesome because you can just pop it like this when you're, if you're still nursing for the other side. It also came with a little stand because this is just like some silicone thing. So if I'm still nursing my daughter, she's nursing here, I can just plop this down and when she's done nursing, then I can go put this in the fridge or pour it into a freezer bag to put in the freezer. If you're interested in getting this specific brand, the Nature Bond one, it came with this little carrying bag with a little strap and then it came with the accessories that I showed you here as well. The great thing about this is you can kind of bring it in your bag with you instead of just letting the liquid gold go into your nursing pad, you can catch it and use it for a lot of different things. Breast milk is amazing for so many different things, not just breastfeeding and feeding your baby. It, it seriously look up the benefits of using breast milk for so many different things or putting them on like um, different rashes and things like that on your baby helps so much anywho and honestly it's so cheap I genuinely for peace of mind just think it's so worth it just a suggestion from a mama but everyone is different so yeah, I just thought I would give you a little bit of a review on these ones because this was an absolute must-have I just went down my shirt. This was an absolute must-have for any pregnancy I have um, and any ba any baby I have for my breastfeeding journey that is a must-have. If you have any suggestions on what breast pumps you like the best, what works for you, whether it's a silicone one or just like a regular pump, a manual one, electric, please let us know in the comments below because I think all of us mamas and parents can really benefit from helping each other out with this. Breastfeeding can be so hard on its own. It can be amazing and beautiful, but it can also be very hard and discouraging sometimes and stressful, to be honest with you. So let's make it easy for everyone. Um, let us know down below what worked for you or what didn't work for you. And if you have certain things to say about this, like if it didn't work great for you, what didn't work great, let us know below so that we can get all the facts. Because, I mean, I used this for two years, but maybe something didn't work for you that I didn't even know, like, could happen and didn't happen to me. So let us know all of our breasts are different all of our babies are different and all of our milk situations are different so that is that thank you so much for watching i'll see you all quite soon and happy breastfeeding bye